Cryptics and I am here to do my July to August book haul. I know that Stacy told you guys that she couldn't tell you guys any stories really because she was in a hurry. Or she at least told me that she couldn't really explain any of our experiences in getting these books. So it's up to me. I'm going to be talking a lot about that and usually she already tells all the fun and interesting stories. And usually I just tell them again but today I'm the first one to get to tell them so that's pretty exciting. So if you watched her haul, then you know that we have been going to a crazy amount of author signings. I actually even went to one more than Stacy did. I went and saw Meg Cabot, Chris Colfer, and then this YA author panel that was going through. But I also got some books for review. So I'm going to go over the books that I got for review first, and then I'm going to start talking about the books that I got signing. So the first thing that I got for review was 52 Reasons to Hate My Father, and this is by Jessica Brody. And Jessica Brody also wrote books like The Karma Club, and um, I think she also wrote My Life Undecided. So I actually never read The Karma Club, but I wanted to read it really bad. So when I was offered the book for review, I was really excited. And it looks really, really cute. It's about this girl who has a huge trust fund coming her way, but her father decides that she is being very, very spoiled. And every week until her 18th birthday, she has to take on a new low wage, minimum, minimum wage, or low paying minimum wage job. And that way she can learn the value of a dollar, I guess. And each week she has to get a different one. And it sounds really cute. It sounds really like light and fun. And that's usually what people like to read during the summer. So I'm really excited to check this out. The next book that I got is, I'm not sure if this is an adult book or a Harlequin romance kind of looks a little bit like a Harlequin romance. It's called Timeless Desire, and it's by Gwen Creedy. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but um, it is basically, I'm pretty sure it's a Harlequin romance, and it's about this girl in the 18th century who loses her husband. I don't know if she is in the 18th century now, or if she saw for the 18th century, or if she goes into the 18th century, because it says something about her. She's a librarian, and it says something about her opening a long locked door and then being transferred or transported into an 18th century. But I don't know. I'm not sure. But she falls kind of in a little lustless thing or um, lustful thing going on with this guy who is a war hero and he has to deliver a dangerous message to someone. And I'm making it sound awful so I'm going to put all the links to these books down below. But it looks really, really good and I, can't, I really can't wait to read it. I've never got an arc of a Harlequin romance before. so. The next thing I got for a review was Audrey's Guide to Witchcraft, and this is by Jodi Gehrman, and I actually really enjoy Jodi Gehrman's books. I read Babe in Boylands and thought it was hilarious, definitely a great read, and this book is basically her take on witchcraft, which is a lot different than Babe in Boyland. Babe in Boyland's set in the real world, and this book is about a girl who is a witch, she's a sorceress, and her mother goes missing, and at the same time her mysterious cousin appears. So she knows something is going very, very wrong. So she must learn to master her sorcery, 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 so she can basically get her mother back and save the world. So it looks really, really good. It says she must get her own magic powers up to speed before everyone she loves is destroyed by the sorcerer, intricately connected to her mother's secret past. So. I cannot wait to read this, and Jodi Garman's so awesome. She signed it for me when she sent it over, and she sent this little thing, Spell for Blogging Magic, Take Jessica's Imagination, Add Many Books, and Chapter Chicks of Form, which is so cute, and it says thanks for reading all this stuff on the back, so. It's so cute. I'm so glad I got this book. The next book that I got is the sequel to Princess Academy, and it's called Princess Academy Palace of Stone, and this is by Shannon Hale. But I'm not going to tell you what, it got, what this is about because I never read Princess Academy, so if I read the back of this it would be a spoiler. But I got sent this, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to picking up Princess Academy and then finishing with this. The next thing I got for review is the book that I am actually currently reading. It is Beautiful Lies by Jessica Wehrman. I reviewed Between by Jessica Wehrman and fell in such love with it. And I'm actually reading this now, and that, let me tell you, it is no disappointment compared to her last book. It's so good. Um, what this is about is there are two twins. They are a very, very rare type of twin where you're not only in the same womb at, or in the womb at the same time, but you're also in the same embryonic sac, as disgusting as that sounds. Normally, each twin has their own, like, egg, but in this case, or in 
Rachel and Alice's case that wasn't the case. So that makes them a very special type of twin. One of them gets goes missing. Strange bruises and wounds start appearing on the twin that's not missing. So she knows that something's going wrong. She knows her sister's being tortured. And it's basically about her discovery or trying to discover where her sister is and what's happened to her. So it's so good. That is all that I got for review. Everything else is stuff that I have purchased for the signings that we went to recently. Like I said, I went to three. The first one that I went to was Meg Cabot. And oh my god, Meg Cabot was hilarious. She was so much fun. She was so, like, she was just so funny. She was so nice, and she appreciated that people were there to see her. And you know that really shows to fans and to people who are going to book signings. I actually already had the mediator bind up, so I just took this with me to get signed. Um, but I just wanted to show the signature. I already had it. The next book that I picked up from Meg Cabot is Abandoned. I got the paperback because I'm cheap, but got. Yeah. It's signed, and this is basically a this, this. I'm really excited to reading this. I don't know why I didn't pick it up sooner. It's the tale of Persephone retold. So the Greek goddess Persephone, who is Hades' wife, is basically told into a YA book. And oh my god, I love the Greek myth mythology. I actually have a whole book on Greek mythology, and it's just so good. It's so interesting and so so weird, so quirky. So I cannot wait to read a YA book about Persephone because she's one of my favorites. The next book that I got signed by Meg Cabot is Size 12 is Not Fat, and I was so drawn into that title because it's just so funny, um, it, and it's signed also. It's basically about this girl who was a pop star, but recently she quit that profession. In this, she loses all of her money because her mom runs away with it, her boyfriend leaves her, and on top of that she gains a bunch of weight. So she is settling down and trying to get a normal life, and she becomes a dorm room manager, like, you know, like the adult at the dorm rooms in college. And Meg Cabot, Cabot actually said she wrote that into this character because she actually was, that was her profession before she became a full-time writer. And that's just hilarious. Like, like I, from what she was telling, she really put a lot of herself into her books and I love that a lot. There's actually, um, she said that the main girl in the Princess Diaries series, uh, I forget her name, is actually a, main, a girl who like picked on her when she was in high school. So she actually used her name and everything. I forget what it is, and I know you guys can tell me. But it's the main girl in the Princess Diaries, like Fauna or Fair or something like that. I don't know. But she's the main girl in that, and this girl saw the movie, didn't even read the book, saw the movie, and sent an email or a message or a letter or something like that to Meg Cabot, and she was like, you'd think, like, Meg Cabot was, like, going on and on about how, like, she sent her this letter after she saw that she was a mean, like, she was the mean girl in Meg Cabot's book, and she remembered Meg Cabot and remembered that she was being mean to her. And she sent her a letter, and she not, like, apologized for being mean to her, not saying, like, hey, how dare you put me in your book. She said, oh, my gosh, I had no idea you were a princess. Are you serious? Like, Meg Cabot's not a princess. But she thought that since she was the main girl and the main thing, that Meg Cabot was also the main character. So it was so funny. She was hilarious to see. And this book looks really good. Oh, I didn't know I was telling you about this book. So she was a dorm room person, and people start getting murdered on her floor. So she decides to become a detective. So, so cool. The next person that we met was Chris Colfer. And, oh my god, he was one of my favorite people to meet. I have met a lot of authors. I've met a lot of people, and... Like, Chris Colfer was one of my favorites by far. First of all, just let me say, like, I normally don't get very fangirly. And I didn't really think that I was, like, I, like, always kind of, like, fangirly. Just it doesn't really exist. It doesn't really happen. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Stacy and I, we were, like, no big deal. Chris Colfer, he's in Glee, blah, blah, blah. He's wrote a book, so we're going to go see him. And we get down there, and there's so many people there, and... We don't even get a glimpse of them. 
for, for a really, really long time. So we were actually, we got there right on time because there was like no place to park and it was awful. <clears throat> but we were trying to get to the cash register because you had to pay for your book to get your line ticket. And we couldn't get to the cash register because people, so many people were there from Glee and they weren't used to book signings and they didn't know that you're not supposed to stay right by the cash register. So we went over to the children's section because we knew that there was another cash register over there and we were talking about the line tickets and he, we asked him, do you have any back here so that we can get the line tickets? And he said, well, I actually don't have any back here. I think we're almost out. Let me call ahead to the over to the desk for you. And he called and they're like, there's only two left. So he ran over and got them for us. So we got the last, we were the last two people to see Chris Culper. And it was really awesome. And he was so, so nice. Like I said, we were one of the last people in line. There was a couple people behind us because they, I think they went back through for something to get another picture, I guess. Here's the signature. I'll just kind of show you guys. It has this cool little map in it. This book looks awesome. Little map. But, um... We were some of the last people in line. There were so many people there, more people that I've seen in any author signing. And right when he saw us, like, he perked up. Like, he, he was doing this for everyone, but, like, every new person that went through, he got really perky again. He got really happy. He was really polite, really sweet, and it was really nice. It was really nice to And I got totally, totally fangirly. Like, we got up there, and I saw him, and I'm like, Stacey, you have to get first. I'm so nervous. You have to do it. I don't remember what I actually said. She's going to say that's not what I actually said. But I said something about, I'm like, getting nervous. So I made her go first, and she was supposed to give him our business card, because we have business cards for Checker Ticks, and they're like, hey, check us out. But then she got all fangirly, too, and, like, the whole way home, we were, like, giggling, and we were, like, la like going crazy about how we just met Chris Colfer and how awesome it was, and all this stuff, so it was awesome. So the next group of people that we saw, there was seven people there. There were supposed to be eight, but Katrina Kittle couldn't make it, and she wrote Reasons to be Happy. I was actually kind of disappointed that she wasn't going to be there because I've never heard of this book before, but I, and I bought it for the signing, and I was really excited to get it signed. But she wasn't there, so that sucks. But I actually had a lot of trouble getting this book, too. So that's another reason why I was really disappointed that she wasn't there, because I was supposed to see her, like, or not I was supposed to. I ordered all these things, and I signed up for Amazon Prime, so I can get two-day shipping, free two-day shipping on all of the books. And because I needed a couple and I didn't want to buy all the hardcovers. So I bought this one with it and for some reason it shipped separately and then it said it wasn't going to be there until three days after the signing. And I'm like, two-day shipping, ordering it three days early, not going to be here three days after until three days after the signing. Doesn't sound like two-day shipping to me. So I had to call Amazon and go through all this stuff. And it arrived the same time as my other books. So it was already like with the same, in the same delivery. So it was already at the same facility. So why did they not just send it? I don't understand. But you got it. And then she wasn't even there. So. The next book that I got signed was um, Tension of Opposites by Christina McBride. It's about this girl who has, or the girl is, her best friend gets kidnapped. And she's kind of put her whole life on hold waiting for her best friend. Like she doesn't feel right doing it, like living her life when her best friend hasn't been able to live hers. And then one day her, the telephone rings and it's her best friend. She'd been kidnapped for the last two years and now she's back. Now she's like, I guess they can never let her go or something. So, whoa, it sounds totally good. Um, obviously things are going to be really hectic after that. The next person that we saw was um, Ray Carson and she wrote The Girl of Thi Fire and Thorns. And this is about a girl who is the chosen one and she's also a princess, but she feels that she has never done anything remarkable in her life. But one day this king marries her because she's the chosen one and she's take, give, taken on all this responsibility, a husband being the chosen one and enemies are after her and all. And she has to basically figure out how to choose to be the chosen one. So I actually butchered the synopsis. It sounds way better than that. But it looks really, really good. I cannot wait to read it. And she was really, really funny. I loved all of the authors there. They were 
they talked for like an hour and they were so funny they kept telling awesome stories and you can just tell that they're just having a blast being on this tour and a blast writing and that means a lot next author that was there was christine johnson and she wrote claire de lune she was actually there for nocturne on like touring for nocturne but i didn't have claire de lune yet so i picked it up and got it signed instead of nocturne this is a book about a girl she just turned 16 and she discovers that she is a werewolf and has a destiny. I don't know what the destiny is, but she has a dark secret and she's pushing the boundaries of forbidden love and she'll be forced to make a choice that will change her life forever. Sounds pretty crazy. Um, I love forbidden love. It's like one of my favorite things, especially when it's love triangles. Love triangles and forbidden love is just great. But yeah, so I actually really can't wait to read this. i becoming more and more of a werewolf fan. I used to really hate werewolf books, but I've read a lot of really great werewolf books lately. So I'm slowly becoming more of a werewolf fan. The next thing that I got is The Demon's Surrender, and this is by Sarah Reese Brennan. And this is the third book in the Demon's Lexicon series, I think, trilogy? Demon's Lexicon trilogy? Yeah, Demon's Lexicon trilogy. And I actually have the first two signed already. I saw her a little while ago when she came by with Holly Black when she was touring for the Demon Surrender, which is the second one. And I haven't got a chance to read any of them yet, so I can't really tell you what this is about. But she actually asked me who my favorite character was, and I felt so bad because I haven't read it yet. And, like, as you guys know, I've been moving, had a baby, got married, but I just, like, she asked me that, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm so sorry. I felt so bad because I've had them, but I've, they were packed away and I was married and having a baby and for some reason I didn't tell her that. So if you're watching this Sarah Reese Brennan, I'm so sorry. I just had a baby and I'm married and I moved. I'm so sorry. I didn't read your books yet, but they look really good and I can't wait to read them. And she actually told us a funny story about um, that guy in the second cover, I guess. No, the first cover. She said he was actually shirtless and the cover was awful and so she was still really nice about me not reading her books so I love her and she was hilarious. We also got a bunch of swag. Um, I stole a lot of it. Um, I mostly, she had so much left and we were one of the last ones that left in line because she was trying to get new swag before she has to go do something else so she's like, here take as much of it as you want. So I did. Um, I have a couple stickers and then I have this. It says, always seek the truth, and I don't know where this sticker came from. Um, Stacy gave it to me. She handed it to me. But I have all kinds of stickers and all kinds of fun things now. So, yeah, um, Julie Kagawa was also there. Um, she's really nice. She's one of my favorite people. Um, I love the Iron Face series. It's one of my absolute favorite series, if not, like, definitely top five favorite series. And she was so nice, and we've talked to her a bunch on the blog before, so when we said we were with Chapter Chicks, she's like, oh my god, Chapter Chicks, I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity. And so it was really nice, and she was great. All of them were really great. Um, she was the only one who really knew who we were, though, so I thought I'd mention that. I know Stacey's going to yell at me if I don't. And I actually already have all my Iron Face series signed, so I got the Immortal Rules that I just happened to have purchased not too long ago signed, and I got an Iron Queen bookmark signed, so that was cool. And then... Um, Sandra Mitchell was also there, so I got my Art of the Vesper team sign, and she told me she liked my nails, so her BFFs now. She actually wrote it in my book, too, so they were pretty cool nails. I don't have them on anymore, though. But, and then there was also Julia Carr, and she was there for the sequel of 16, which is called Truth, and I had an Art of 16, so I had that sign, because I would have bought them, I would have bought them all new, but... I didn't want to, I wanted my copies that I read signed, and I read both of S14 and 16, so I wanted mine signed. Otherwise, I would have bought them. Stacy hasn't read 16 yet, and she didn't have the book, and when she went there, she had her library copy, or she, Dylan had taken her library copy out of her bag of Tension of Opposites, so she already had to rebuy that, even though she already bought it. So, they were all giving away books, and she didn't have 16 yet. And Julia Carr is like, okay, I'm about to give away 16. And Stacey literally yelled and begged for it. Like, she's like, oh, me, me, I don't have it, I need it, please. And it was so funny, like, everyone was laughing. And she, like, every time she asked for it, she, or asked who wanted it, Stacey was just, like, screaming. So she got it. So she didn't have to pay for that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a lot of books I got. I haven't got too many books since border, Borders Closed. But... Um, we also met Christy from the Story Siren. It was a lot of fun. Stacey's going to yell at me if I don't tell the story too, so. 
we saw her, we were standing in line, and Stacy's like, Jesse, I think that's Christy from the story siren. We waited until we went all, all of us had went through the line, and I'm like, hey, are you Christy from the story siren? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, can we take your picture, a picture with you? And she's like, yeah, sure. She was really nice about it, and she's like, or she, we told her we were Stacy and Jessica from Chapter Chicks, and she's like, oh, hey, and gave Stacy a big hug, and gave me a little tiny hug, and said, um, she said she saw some of our videos and stuff, so it was really cool to meet her as well. Um, she was there with two other people. I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this, you watched her in my mailbox, so you know she, who she was there with. I am Jessica with Chapter Chicks. This was my all the books that I got in July, and this chapter was for you.